let's dive straight into it, Penny. First thing, how, how are you? Are you okay, right? Because travel has been smashed. How are you going? Yeah, look, I think we all have our days at the moment. You couldn't say that you're okay all the time. But, you know, you've just got to have the strength and resilience to get through this and, and know that we will get through to the other side at some point, whenever that's going to be, and hope that uh, it's soon. So, you know, we're, I have my days, but mostly I'm okay. Because as a leader, I have to be present for my staff. So I can't fall down. Yeah, a absolutely, right? They look for that. And that's, that's calmness is power is really a part of that as well. Like just being present and dealing with things calmly. There's so many great examples of that. So this is a time for that more than any other, I think. Yeah, and I think as, as a leader, you know, that even as government being leading us through this, I mean, they don't really know what they're doing either. And, and I, as a leader, for once, I'm kind of not sure what I'm doing either, but just taking it as it goes. Yeah, making the best decisions we can with the situation at hand. That's, that's what's required for sure. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I do love, I know what your book, the uh, Love What You Do and Never Work a Day in Your Life, right? And, and it's almost a title, and it's a great title, and it's almost a philosophy for many people. But yeah. what are some, perhaps, some strategies that can help translate that love into action successfully? Because there's many people that love what they do, but they don't necessarily manage to successfully convert that either. In yeah. business sense. So what's some strategies that you would suggest or you help people focus on to help make that more a reality? I think passion is number one. You know, you've got to be passionate about what you do. So passion and purpose. So having that purpose, knowing what your purpose is, but being passionate about it as well. I think the other one is definitely perseverance. I mean, you can love what you do, but you know, as I just said, there's days that you don't know what you're doing and you've got to persevere and keep going uh, and the other one is resilience which I talked about before we've got to be resilient and as a business owner um, or anything that you're doing in life you know you're going to have tough times and you've got to be resilient to get through those tough times nice passion and let that passionate uh, purposeful persistent yep. and with resilience nice list so tell, let's go back a bit, like what, what ignited your passion like in travel? Because it's, it's a pretty big venture to undertake to set up the way you have, and then it's kind of blossomed. But what, what, was there a single event or was there multiple things? What drove you into this industry in the first place, Penny? Well, I knew I wanted to be in travel doing something when I was about nine years old when I took my first flight. And that excitement of, you know, getting on a plane, not knowing what it's going to look like at the other end because I'd never been on a plane before. I just had my passion for travel from there started. And I knew I wanted to be in the travel industry, whatever form that was. Probably at nine, I thought I wanted to be an air hostess. But as I got older, I realised that's probably not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, so when I left school, I, you know, walked the streets and went into every travel agency. There were a lot in those days, um, on one on every corner, and offered myself for free to work. Um, and finally got someone that said, oh, okay, you can work for us for free. And I stamped brochures for six months. And from there, I've just really worked my way up. Wow. It's, and, and, and before you know it, I can relate to it. 20 plus years goes in a blink though sometimes. I, I don't know about oh. you. For me, I just go, wow, how did that happen? Yeah, I know. I know. And, you know, I think I was about 20, maybe 24 or five when I knew that I wanted to own my own business. I'd sort of worked my way up through travel and then realized you know, eventually I want to have my own business. So I just work towards that, worked hard towards that. Yeah.